I'm feeling a little crafty today, so I have come up with this to use for a kitchen display. I think you guys will love it. Okay, friends, sorry about the dishwasher going in the background. This is very much so an impromptu video. I just thought about it and I thought, yes, let's go film. Dishwasher was already going. I don't want to stop it. So let's work with it. What you are going to need to start are some green faux apples. Green will do, red will do, but with all the pops of orange in my kitchen, green is it for me. Some round wooden dowels. You're going to need classic caramel paint. I got this at Walmart. Some of these little sponge brushes. You may not need them, but I got them just in case. Some of these. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. You're going to need some gloss Mod Podge, some needle nose pliers. Then, would you believe I was at Walmart yesterday and the one thing I went to go there for, I forgot. How many of you do that? Something called like corn cob bedding to mimic almonds, peanuts, things like that. So I did get myself some beads because I thought I can mix them and maybe I'd go with more of a glam look. Get yourself some throwaway bowls so you don't ruin your good ones. Do you know where I'm going with this or are you completely lost? Oh, and I forgot ribbon or some little uh, berry garland. I don't know, we'll see where I go with this. Let's get started. In case you didn't guess, we are making faux caramel apples to use in a kitchen display. So to start, you're gonna take your apples and your needle nose pliers. And what you're gonna do is pull the stem out. Just like that. Now, they are stemless apples. Okay, take your wooden dowels, cut the bag, pull them out. We are now going to insert these into the top of each apple. You can't have these that long. So I've decided I want my length to be about this. So now I'm gonna take these and kind of mark where I wanna cut. And boom, chopped. So now that these are all about the same size, we can now insert into the top of the apple. and place them in the bowl. Looks just like caramel. And now we're gonna take our glossy Mod Podge and place this in with our caramel paint. Before I get started, Get yourself some parchment paper and put it on a baking sheet. Just like that. Now you're gonna wanna mix, mix, mix and get that caramel color combined with the glossy Mod Podge. Should I go darker? smidge more. I've got my wax paper ready and I think I'm ready to start with my first one. So I've seen people start out by taking a brush and just letting the paint kind of glide along. 
But then I've also seen people just dip it right into the Mod Podge. I feel like being a kid again, right? just let it drip and you can see it's coated on the bottom and I'm gonna sit it on my parchment paper. I don't know, I saw somebody do it and it looks so pretty and elegant the way they use beads. So I love the orange, I love the green. I love the orange and green and the yellow and the yellow. So I might use those and kind of sprinkle them like sugar sprinkles. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of sprinkle these I just finished their drawing. They look adorable. Now, I will tell you, learn from my mistake. When you mix your Mod Podge and your color, add some cornstarch and then mix it up again. The problem I was finding is that this was too runny. So it's taking a little bit longer to dry. And what I've heard is if you add the cornstarch, it dries faster, things adhere and stick better. So if you like what I've done or you like the concept, definitely add the cornstarch so you don't have my problem. But anyway, let me show you. I was gonna have them all cutely displayed, but they're drying and I have no idea how long it's gonna take to dry. Now, the way I was gonna display them was with a huge cloche. Um, I was gonna sit them on a cute little riser, put the cloche over it, sort of encapsulating them. And then I was gonna spread some raffia out and just kind of sit them in there kind of like different ways. Uh, but anyway, this is how it turned out. And all I did was tie some buffalo check ribbon around the dowels. Now you could tie a raffia bow, thinner ribbon, whatever strikes your fancy. Definitely the colors of autumn kind of has that nice little sugary sparkle to them and it definitely goes with all my decor. So I love it. I think it's adorable and you could do this too, but use cornstarch. I may have to attempt this again. After I filmed last night, I thought, you know, they just need a little something something. So I slapped on a little more of the paint and then I added purple, a little bit of blue, definitely red, like a burgundy. 
I just added more colors and now I'm super happy with it. I think these are so cute. Now, most videos you will find on caramel apples, they're using the corn cob bedding, which, you know, mimics chopped nuts. And I love that for fall. But with that said, I just wanted to try something different that a lot of people aren't doing. And I thought adding the beads would be kind of a fun touch. So my tip, add the cornstarch that will thicken the paint. It will help things adhere and dry faster. And then if you decide to go with the beads, you know, add darker colors in with it because that really makes it pop. And I have these sitting on a really cute beaded cutting board. And I just think they look adorable for any corner in a kitchen where you wanna display a pop of fall. I might throw some raffia down just to give it an extra fallish kind of touch. Maybe a couple fall leaves, I don't know. But I think they're awfully cute. Now here is a close up and I think it looks really cute. I redeemed myself. So last night, funny little story. I got these all displayed and drawing in a corner of the kitchen and two of my daughters walked in the door. We were all gonna have dinner together and they eyed these sitting in the kitchen. Mom, did you make caramel apples? And I went, guys, sorry to disappoint. They're fake. They look so let down. So now I'm gonna have to make it up to them and make some real fall caramel apples. I'm like, who's looking at me? Bentley's right there. The other day, this is side, side note. Um, the other day I was vacuuming the floors and I kicked um, the dog's bed under there to move it out of the way. And ever since then, he loves going in his bed under the cabinet. I guess it's a, like a little cave for him, but he absolutely loves it. But I sometimes forget it's there and I'll walk by and I'll see two eyes looking at me and I'm like, oh. anyway, if you guys try this, let me know how yours turn out. I would love to know. Come back and see me Friday. Lots of fall decorating. I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye guys. Yeah.